Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What are you saying people, back with a bang. Here I am to bring you guys another video today. So today we closed our April trading. We have no more days of April, we're going into May tomorrow. I'm gonna to talk about a few stocks that reported earnings after hours. There's been a bit of heavy movement um, from a few different stocks, which you could probably see on the screen already. But we're gonna talk about that, what I think the market's gonna be like in May, and also what to look out for because there's FOMC tomorrow. Now before we do that, you guys know the deal. Drop a thumbs up, show some support. These videos do take time. I do enjoy bringing them to you guys, but they do take time. So make sure you drop a thumbs up to show some support. Make sure you comment as well. And of course, if you're new around here, subscribe. Oh, and lastly, if you're, if you're not used to sharing, share, share. It's good to share, give back to the community. So share these videos with your friends. So let's jump onto Yahoo Finance. Here we go, Amazon stock uh, pops after earnings beat. We've got SMCI that dropped heavy. We're gonna look at that as well. It says 4%, it's, just, it's up to like 8% now. Starbucks, Fell, yeah, we're gonna look at that as well. Pins actually flew up, so I don't know why it's saying it's down. Let's actually have a look at that. Pinterest flew up, I think, like 22%. We're gonna get under trading view in a minute. There we go, it was 17% on this screenshot, but I think it's even more now. AMD, had AMD as well that tanked, Starbucks tanked. We're gonna get into all of that right now. And we're gonna talk about you know what I'm looking at to do doing going into May. So here we go. Here's the headline that I wanted you guys to really check out. Stocks sink to end worst month of 2024. Yes, April was the worst month of 2024. And you guys might have seen today, SPY, which is actually on here. SPY tanked to end the, end the month. We went from 509 to lows of 502 before entering 501 after hours. And I said it in the Discord, you guys saw. I said the puts today are going to go crazy. They're going to go stupid, which is exactly what they did. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take advantage as much as I would have liked. But anyway, the month is closed out. It was a good month overall. But as you can see, the stocks, yeah, they sold off heavily today and throughout the month. Now, with AMD, Amazon, Starbucks, SMCI, um, all falling after hours, it's kind of just giving an indication of how this month went for a lot of those stocks. And not least Tesla, which actually recovered some of its losses this month, but Tesla also had a pretty bad month. So where do we start? Let's go to trading view. So I've already talked about SPY and where we are right now. Now we're currently under 501. You can see that the markets are fluctuating right now post-market. But let's go to Amazon to kick off this chart session. So Amazon, this is what earnings can do. It's had some erratic movement, right? Amazon actually beat earnings per share and revenue, which made the stock push up, I think, about 4%. Then it kind of sold off a little bit. Today it was down overall, and now it's up almost 3% after hours. So let's do this, let's zoom out, four hour chart. Okay, very erratic, right? What you wanna kinda of see is where Amazon you know, found support around 174 earlier this month. Um, it dropped a little bit low below that and then started to recover. Amazon still has plenty of upside potential, still going to recover and long term, if you like Amazon, then yeah, this is the price points you kinda of wanna be buying at because long term, we're only gonna go up from here. I mean, there will be pullbacks, but long term, I'm talking a year, two years, five years, Etc. We're going up with Amazon. We're going up. Let's be honest. So Amazon's looking good. You know their numbers were good. They just beat earnings. It's looking good for Amazon. Now there are a lot of stocks that it's looking for bad for right now. Let's start with AMD. AMD, ooh, down seven percent now. Ten dollar drop. We discussed this in my watch list video, uh, the last video I uploaded on this channel. And if you haven't seen it, go check that one. AMD now down seven percent after hours. So where does that put us? That puts us when we open tomorrow, just above the 200 day moving average. We're bo below my level of support, we already broke that. We kind of got rejected by this moving average here, but earnings has just made us fall. So expect more blood for AMD. Expect another three or $4 drop to be honest. And if it does drop, you can look at SMCI dropping more. SMCI now down 9% after hours. SMCI has a similar chart to AMD. It's kind of like the AI version of Nvidia, similar to that, but Nvidia actually also invested in um, SMCI. But as you can see, we were holding in between the moving averages. Now we're looking at, well, we're looking at opening around here tomorrow, so where the blue line is, which is actually um, near one of the previous highs from back in February, where we kind of gapped up above. So just watch to see if it gaps down to maybe these levels around 720. That's another $60 drop. Just keep your eyes out on that. If tech does continue to sell off, you guys know stocks like QQQ will sell off 424 now. Last week we were at 414. 
We pushed all the way to 434 yesterday. Now we've dropped another $10 back to 424. So look at QQQ puts. Those are going to be on the radar tomorrow, starting off May with some puts. Then moving on now, we also have our good friend Starbucks. I mentioned this in the last video as well. Starbucks down 10% now. So where does that leave us? That leaves us, oh, we're going to have to get out. I think we're going to have to zoom out all the way out here because we have dropped back to lows from, in fact, this could be very bad, guys. This could be very bad for Starbucks. Yep. Back to lows from 2020, to be honest. Oh, well, we also at this, this level in 2022, July 2022. But if you like Starbucks long term, this is an ideal price point. Short term, it's looking like puts. Let's see. On the daily chart, it's looking like there's no level of support right now. I mean, if it's at $79 already, it's dropped $10. Where's the next level of support? We have to go back to July 2022. Let's figure out what was going on then. Here we go, all the way back to July 2022. Maybe the next level to look out for, you can see a couple times, two, three times, we hit that level around 75, 55. So let me just mark that for the chart. I would look at Starbucks puts down to around 75, 55. Everyone listening, everyone watching, look at the puts for Starbucks. They are definitely on, well and truly on. So just watch that for your radar. Yeah, I mean, missing earnings can cause you a lot of pain, and a lot of trouble. You know, at the end of last year, November time, there was a lot of rumors in regards to uh, Starbucks being part, or at least not being part, but let's say supporting um, the war. And I think, you know, with those news, with those rumors about, you know, Israel, Palestine, when, when you're in any way actively involved or seemingly actively involved, it's going to make your stock price tank. It's going to make people start boycotting. It's going to make people start, you know, rebelling against you, putting posts, posts on social media out about you in negative light, and it doesn't help your company. Now, I mean, I've not looked into it, but there's probably reasons why it's dropped so drastically now after hours. But yeah, that's what earnings can do to you. So Starbucks puts around another 4 or $5 drop. Now we're going to talk about Tesla briefly. And shout out Uzo for hitting the Tesla puts. And shout out for anyone who hit the Tesla calls. Tesla f last week, Monday, $140, right? Tesla yesterday, $198. We gapped up twice. Gapped up about $20 and then gapped up another $35. Just a couple of days worth, you know, there was a, the $6 contracts on Friday. They turned to $400. Very crazy. Those are the 200 calls expiring this Friday. But Tesla really did do its thing and now it's pulling on back. Um, so if tech keeps falling, you can expect Tesla to keep falling a bit. I think it was a little bit of an overreaction. Um, brief summary, Elon Musk flew to China over the weekend in his private jet and he was doing business dealings with them. And then he announced that they plan to enable their FSD driving over there. So that's kind of you know what happened in a nutshell, which made the stock um, fly. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Baidu was also a part of that. Well, it doesn't reflect in the stock price, but I think it gapped up uh, also over over weekend. But yeah, Baidu was also a part of that. And today, while it tanked even more, um, obviously, first of all, because it was pretty overbought and I think it was an overreaction to the news. And second, they announced a second round of layoffs, including two executives. So not very good news for Tesla. We can watch it pull on back to around 175, 176. I'm expecting it to continue dropping as the rest of tech drops as well. And with the negative sentiment around that news as well. You can see how much news fuels the stock and how much news affects this um, stock's share price. So yeah, that's Tesla for you. Then we also have Lemonade. I'm going to just briefly touch on Lemonade as I'm a shareholder. I have must touch on it. You know, that's the bias there. It's up, up 8%. So this stock chart is very strange because Lemonade is one of those stocks where, as you can see last earnings, we can fly up to $21, $22, but we can also drop down to $15. So it's a very volatile stock. Um, for those of you who don't know, it was a stock which was back up in the 40s, just about, I think, 2021. Um, and then... So yeah, 20, end of 2021 and begin 2022. And if you look all the way back to uh, mid of 2021, we were up at $116. I've been in this stock a while, but yeah, Lemonade, I just want to touch on that. It's, it's another stock that announced earnings. And since we're on the top of earnings, let's touch on Pinterest. Ticket symbol P-I-N-S. Okay, now it's up 17%. But again, this is what earnings can do to you. So this blue line is where the stock is right now. So it means it's going to gap up overnight. It's already gapped up overnight. We'll see if it holds. If it does hold, Look for, to see if it can push to those previous highs from earlier this year, back about $41. There's still a $2 gain in there for some of you who are hungry for some gains. But like I said, you know, that's for those of you who are hungry. For me, I wouldn't be looking at that. You know, it's gapped up. It's gone from here to up here. You'll see it tomorrow. That's not interesting me. 
But those are the main stocks that I just wanted to touch on since they've announced earnings right now. Into May, I'll tell you what I'm looking at, Nike. Nike, we'll see when I can find a level of support. Once you can find a level of support, I'll be looking at taking this to the upside. Nike is one of those stocks where long term, you know you're gonna get a great return with it. You know, you guys know how many of you have Nike shoes, Nike um, clothes, Nike sportswear, Nike everything in your house. Long term, I'm very bullish on Nike. Short term, I just needed to find a level of support and we can get this kind of mini mini rally again like we saw uh, from the beginning to mid-April. You know, here it was a, like a nice $7, $8 rally. Once you find support, show confirmation of a reversal and I'll be looking to get uh, calls in Nike. But keep Nike on watch because when it does start moving, as you can see from September till December, yeah, it can really push and it can stay consistent. So that's the kind of consistent trade I'd be looking at taking with Nike if it can find support and again, start showing confirmation of a push. Now I think we'll just end with a little bit of crypto. Bitcoin had a horrible April, the worst month um, since October, I believe. Put up the monthly chart, there we go. Since August even, August. So yeah, we've had straight green months since August. So September, October, November, December, January, February, March were all green. April has broken the green streak. So let's see what crypto does to start May. But right now we're back at 60K of Bitcoin. We've got a level of support at 44K. But as you can see, when a stock does push, or sorry, when a crypto does push, um, you know, when it pushes this much in a short period of time or in such a quick period of time, it's going to pull on back. You know, if it makes such a great gain, such a steep gain, it's going to also pull on back a bit. That's normal. So just keep your eyes out on crypto for the deals, discounts. There are going to be a lot of them out there. Check on your Ethereum, your Solanas, all your meme coins, everything. Just make sure you check on them and uh, find ways to make yourself some money. So that's it from me. You guys know the deal already. The first link in the description, the Royal Trading Academy. We trade stocks there each and every day. We do the breakdowns, we do live trading, we've got betting, we've got crypto, we've got loads more as well. So go check that one out. Second link in the description is the Stock Option Starter Pack. That's 10 videos you'll have access to those for life. That's where I talk about stock options, the difference ins and outs, different grammar, the different things you need to know about stock options overall. And then go check me out on all the social medias. Check out the latest reel I posted, which was a recap of my April on Instagram at The Wealth Prince. But that's it from me. Thanks a lot for watching. I got money to making. You got money to making. See you guys in the next video. Peace.